Post presentation 27 Validation of Medical Student Stress Questionnaire in a cohort of medical students from Faculty of Medicine, Colombo, researched by Lakmal R. S. P. K. Jayaraja U. Atapattu A. S. Jayavardhana B. A. A. J. D. C. L. V. Paper presented by Lakmal R. S. P. K. So this is the validation of the previous questionnaire because we have used the questionnaire for the first time in Sri Lanka. So we, we, we also did the validation study out of this data. So uh, medical student uh, stress questionnaire was developed in 2010 in Malaysia original or, uh, originally and it was uh, and also it has been validated in other countries also. Uh, and we uh, we, we want to see the inter-item correlations and how reliable and how validated this study. Uh, so the same data we have included for that also. Uh, uh, and also concurrently we have administered the similar questionnaires like general health questionnaire 12, uh, patient health questionnaire 9 and the generalized anxiety disorder questionnaire 7. So we were able to see uh, good uh, correlation between the medical student stress questionnaire and the other three questionnaires also and uh, when it come to the internal consistency of the items in the questionnaire uh, uh, in the table 3 you can see in between the subscales like ARS, IRS there is a, a good uh, Kronbach alpha value 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 is usually considered as the acceptable internal consistency and our study the most factors were about 0 0.6 and overall Kronbach alpha for the uh, medical student stress questionnaire 40 items it is about 0 0.95 and also the sample was adequate for this fact analysis by the KMO and the Bartlett's index uh, those were also good in this questionnaire and inter I inter uh, in between the scales we have also uh, find a uh, significant correlation among the uh, each scales uh, so our conclusion is uh, this contextually adapted MSSQ can be used by the other faculty other other population other medical student population in Sri Lanka to assess the further uh, further levels and also uh, uh, compare with the uh, worldwide data. Thank you. Thank you. The paper is open for questions. Uh, couple of questions. Uh, one is uh, other than for the statistical validation, did you look at any other methods of uh, validating? Yes, uh, we did the test and retest reliability. Uh, that uh, correlation is also more than 0 0.9 raw value. Okay like content validity with experts, did yes. you look at yeah, those yes. aspects? And the language expertise also. Okay. And then uh, in your, you have identified uh, eight factors about with the uh, eigenvalue of above one, yes. right? So did you look at uh, what are the items that are loading on to these uh, seventh and eighth factors? Because they are not, they don't seem to be in the original. Originally, the questionnaire seems to be for f six subscales, right? Yes. So, but you have identified eight factors. So, can you explain that difference? Uh, yes, we, we use the confirmatory analysis model and uh, we have loaded initially the 40, fa 40 items separately uh, and we got the value. Uh, and also, uh, using the uh, modulation modulation indices and all, we were able to uh, with find a better fit model mm. with eight factors. Like we 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 separate in the ARS because it has thirteen s items. Mm -hmm. we, we 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 get a better model. So. Okay. Uh, thank you for your presentation.